is okay. This is a little bit of a PR thing for you. PR? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah you Your name is Facebook? Corky Lee. That's right. My name is Corky Lee. You have some uh, shows going at this time? I got some shows going on at this time. 40, uh, no, 64 prints in uh, Johnson Johnson in New Brunswick. That's only for the employees. Okay. Uh, publicly, uh, I'm taking down an exhibit at Berkeley College at 12 East 41st Street tomorrow. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, that that was my only and show. The CUNY, the CUNY TV thing? CUNY TV has uh, like a four minute uh, segment uh, profiling me. It's a new TV program that's on uh, CUNY TV. It's uh, channel 25.3. Um, and but they're revamping uh, CUNY TV altogether. Okay. Um, uh, Jonas Meckert from um, uh, oh. Anthology Film Archives. Mm -hmm. He's uh, being profiled on that. And Jonas has got to be, he's got to be 90, 91, something like that. Uh, well, we were all getting up there, you know. Well, <laughs> we started yeah, off young. Yeah, let me know if you know anyone who's <laughs> getting younger. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are you planning for the future? Uh, for the future. I uh, I have some photographs as part of the Smithsonian uh, Institute. Uh, it's at the American Museum of uh, Museum of American History. So that's going to be a traveling uh, show. Mm -hmm. It's uh, called um, uh, It's called I Want the Wise American Earth, uh, an Asian American story, Asian Pacific American story. Mm -hmm. And uh, the title is actually from Carlos Belusan, who was a uh, Filipino uh, uh, farm laborer in the uh, early turn of the 20th century. Mm -hmm. uh, so they took this title. Mm -hmm. But the entire exhibit is actually on uh, 30 panels, 4 feet wide mm -hmm. and uh, 7 feet uh, high. It's about, it's about the size of this door. Uh, so that's meant to travel for the next 10 years. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, well, when I say 10 years, uh, that's how long they contracted me for the photograph. So I, I make like probably $25 every year for the next 10 years. <laughs> check coming in, huh? <laughs> yeah, well, the, the checks uh, came in and been spent already. So. Oh, so you're doing projects now, working on something? Uh, I, I've been uh, trying to uh, self publish a book. Uh, but uh, that was 18 months ago when I, when I was still employed. But I've been out of work for 18 months. I bought the paper, enough paper for the book, probably uh, 30,000 sheets of paper. Wow. But because uh, I, I lost my job, it's, you know, uh, the paper is sitting, uh, probably occupies uh, this amount of space in the wow. gallery. Wow. So, that's uh, quite a bit of paper. It's, uh, it's about like $5,000, $6,000 worth of paper. Mm -hmm. And it takes up a lot of real estate. Okay. Uh, if you're not using it. Uh, so, yeah. I was hoping that. Are you I, I, still printing? Oh yeah, I'm still involved in printing. Yeah, I, I can, I can, you know, I, I just to help uh, uh, Robert Haller from uh, Anthology Film Archives. He's doing an exhibit in Greece, mm -hmm. so he wanted a uh, photographic book published, so in Greek and in English. So I got a graphic designer to scan all the photographs. I just checked off on the proofs. Mm -hmm. And he'll get his copies uh, probably next Friday. Okay, so you're doing a lot of collaborative work also. Yeah, right? I, I, I've always been doing collaborative work. Uh, uh, I, I worked in the newspaper printing business for 29 years. Okay. So uh, okay. I got the account uh, once upon a time for Metro, uh, free newspaper. Yeah, 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 photo Metro. Yeah, so uh, I got that account and uh, we printed uh, also uh, the Amsterdam News. Oh, really? Uh, okay. Yeah, up until 18 months ago. Uh, okay. So it was, okay. you know, it's a weekly paper. Mm -hmm. uh, and that actually helped me get out of uh, mm -hmm. jury duty because one of the other papers we printed <coughs> was uh, New York Law Journal. So you know how it is when you go into uh, jury duty, the, the judge will ask you if you know anyone in law uh, enforcement. Mm -hmm. you know, and they expect you to say, you know, I know a police officer friend or a neighbor, you know, or an uncle down the street, something like that, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I generally tell them I, I, I know uh, uh, a handful of judges, okay, and uh, they'll ask me to name them. Uh, all the judges happen to be Asian American because I photographed them at one uh, point in the moment. Mm -hmm. And then they would ask me, uh, well, what line of work are you in? And I said, well, for the last, well, if it was recent, I would say, last 29 years, 
I've been in the printing business printing newspapers. So he would ask me what kind of newspapers. And uh, if the uh, defendant was African American, I would mention uh, the Amsterdam News. <laughs> and then, but I would also offer and tell them that I also print New York Law Journal, which is a daily newspaper at, for all the lawyers. You know, you can get it online. You can uh, pick up a copy, mm -hmm. not at a newsstand, but. Uh, Do you still have access to printing press? Uh, yeah, uh, since uh, my company closed, uh, I can uh, do, uh, uh, I work with like about four, maybe five different printers. So if mm -hmm. somebody wants something printed, mm -hmm. I, uh, once I get the specifications, mm -hmm. I can figure out a price uh, mm -hmm. by going to all four of them mm -hmm. and then figure out what's the best price. Okay. For uh, Robert Haller, I got three prices to him. Mm -hmm. uh, the prices are all pretty much the same, plus or minus maybe 50 bucks. Mm -hmm. But one was in Manchester, another one was in Moron City, and the third one was actually in Chinatown. Really? So I guess he sort of figures that, well, he's up here on uh, 2nd Street and 2nd Avenue. Close it, enough. It's, it's closer for him. <laughs> You know, to, to get down in Chinatown and maybe even get a bowl of noodles mm -hmm. on the way back or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. So he went with that one. So uh, and, uh, uh, that's in the works now. So like I said, uh, by next Friday he'll, he'll have his uh, his uh, you know catalog, photographic catalog. But uh, you guys have been here like for 40 years. You know, you must have. You could probably do a 40-year anniversary of uh, some of the people that have come through here. Yeah, that's. Yeah. Still in the it's still in the works. Still in the works. Yeah. <laughs> I've been trying to do that for the past twenty years. So. Oh, past twenty years. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I, well, I've only been trying. Well, to I, I see. You see, the most of them are still active. So you know, there's always a chance for me to go back and you know pull it back in and do something real. Yeah, for I real. think a couple of years ago there was a there's a woman in the uh, in uh, Long Island University uh, produced a book called 100 New York Photographers. Uh huh. And uh, there were a number of minority photographers that uh, were in there that I recognized. Uh, yeah, there's very little access, you know, into publishing for most well, people. Well, I, uh, you know, <coughs> I, I, like I can make it accessible uh, because I, uh, that was part of the work that I did, you know, in the okay. past. Okay. Okay. So, uh, if it's 500 copies or um, a thousand or 2,500 copies. You know, mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. I, I can uh, figure it out. And, uh, okay. Take a paper-bound uh, 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 catalog, uh, a book out of it. Uh, mm -hmm. So this mm -hmm. way, it sells a lot better in, in bookstores. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because if you just put two staples in it, you know, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't work that well. Okay. Uh, if you want a hardcover, fine. I, I could uh, work out a, a hardcover, but that's probably it. Wound up sending it to uh, China. Well, we're going to ask you about that part of it. Yeah, well, I'll leave you my business card. Okay, thank you.